Hey guys, Romy here, so please like, comment, subscribe. This is my review for Jocelyn, <laughs> Jocelyn's baby special. Uh, this is Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, but this is Jocelyn's special delivery episode. Now, the episode technically starts off with Jocelyn. She's going to the hospital, and she's kind of giving us a recap of what's been going on, and she's getting ready to go because she was having contractions, so it's almost time for the baby to be, to be born. Now... Jocelyn, she goes and meets up with these event planners. I guess Mona hooked her up with these event planners. Mimi and Shante. Now, mind you, Shante is the more reserved one. Wants to go and have ballerinas. Wants to go and keep it nice and classy. They're both sisters. Because I said, whoa, they look similar. So they're sisters. And uh, Mimi is the turn up. Mimi's like, oh, you want strippers? Yeah, I'll get you strippers. Jocelyn's saying that she wants strippers at the baby shower. She wants... Uh, a cake where it's essentially kind of looks like her and has a baby coming out of the cookie cat as she says and I, I said oh god my name is Romy please like I'm subscribe I, I that was I, I was like this is Jocelyn we're talking about Jocelyn wants perfection she wants things to be done right and her confessional is this it looks like it's uh, technically like a baby room but she's sitting on almost like a throne and she's wearing this gown and I said look at Jocelyn look at Jocelyn Jocelyn has done come up this is cute this is nice but strippers really but, but again this is Jocelyn now when Jocelyn leaves Shanta's just like I'm not doing that my name's on the line like this is a mess the check is good but it's not that good because they're saying we can take a 20,000 and make it look like a 50 we can make a 50,000 uh, K uh, bridal, sh uh, uh, what do you call it? baby shower? Look like a hundred thousand, and Jonathan said, "Oh, that expensive." I said, "Yes, you're gonna have to come out of your pocket for this." Who am I kidding? No, you're not. Loving him, I was gonna pay for this. Let's. That's why they're calling it a special. They paid for this, people. Jocelyn then goes and talks with her brother. Her brother, who's 20 years old, apparently he was going to college. He got some girl pregnant. And she's six months pregnant, and he's essentially pulling in Jocelyn's mind CVJ. He's shirking on his response. We know the situation's different. But her brother, if you will, I guess was kind of like Mr. Casanova to a certain degree. Jocelyn's trying to let me know, and here's the situation. I was the one working on my back, on my feet, um, making that money, getting that bread, so that you and the rest of the family could be well off. Because we remember, I remember, I actually watched Love and Hip Hop since the beginning. So I remember when Jocelyn was saying to CVJ how um, CVJ was always holding it over her head, how she got her from where she was. Because remember, at one point when she was a teenager, I think she started prostituting to make money for the family because they're like, you need to go out and make money. Now, I, didn't, they, I don't think she ever said you need to go out and prostitute, but I think the her parents are like, you're old enough now, you need to go out and make money. And that's how she did it. And so that was the issue with her and her parents. I do remember that. Now we fast forward and her brother was taken care of because, of course, I think he's like six years or seven years younger than her. So he didn't have to go through the same uh, upbringing that they did. And she's trying to figure out, so you know mom was a single mom and all the trials and tribulations she had to deal with raising six kids. And so you saw how hard it was for her. It's like, yeah, I guess. And so you want to do that to your own baby mama? Like, how are you going to go and sugar your responsibilities? I made sure to pay for everything for you. Make sure that you went to school. Make sure you went to college. Make sure you were in nice clothes. Make sure you didn't do the things I had to do. And yet you go and repay that with this? And unfortunately, that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes you do everything for a sibling and then or a kid and you do too much and then they get spoiled. And because Jocelyn said, I'm not going to go and pay for you anymore. No, that's not what this is about. I'm going to go and pay for your child, make sure that your child is taken care of. And he said, oh, mm, yeah, I guess. Mm, okay. Uh, well, I don't think that's fair. I said, excuse you, that, that, that better be a joke. You don't think that's fair. <laughs> anyway, so he's cut off. Jocelyn now is going to an abuela. Was it abuela? I think so. And, a, you know, a birthing, what is it, a birthing midwife, if you will. She wants to go and have a natural birth. So the one tells her what it entails. And she's, says Jocelyn wants to go and have a water birth. And she said, of course, it's not easy, but it's really rewarding. It's the best, you know, route for the baby. I've definitely heard that as well, as far as no drugs, anything like that. Through each commercial break, we see Jocelyn through different stages of labor.
That's essentially what we see here. So that's where we see, I cannot, I cannot, and I felt bad at one hand, but I don't know, it's just, I don't know if it's because of the accent or the tone, I wanted to laugh. It's just like, I cannot, I don't know why, I cannot, I cannot. I'm not laughing, like I said, I delivered, because Lord Jesus, I thank God, I'm a man, every single day. Because having to be a woman, period, is tough. So imagine also having to give birth. Hell no. Hell no. Now Jocelyn is going to a um, birthing class. And she's talking to some of the women who, one, is going to have her first child. And she's going to have her first child in a couple of days. Another one went the natural route as well. But because she had to go to the hospital due to the complications or due to just timing, by the time she got to the hospital, it was too late. She couldn't go and have a natural birth. Uh, well, you know, the water birth, actually, I should say. Jocelyn gets given the doll. Remember how some people who have health classes, not my school, but in some schools, they would go and give you the doll so you take care of the baby. And this is like how it is to have a baby. It cries. You have to change it. You have to do all of that. So, Jocelyn's just like, Lord Jesus, I have to do all this. I'm going to have to go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom and say, I'm leaving the baby. Jocelyn then goes to the gym because, you know, she has to stay right, stay tight. I said, Jocelyn can go to the gym being that pregnant, and yet I drive by a gym every single day. And this isn't about staying skinny. That's not the issue. That's not the issue. It's about staying in shape. I am skinny. I am thin. I am not in shape. So I shout out to Jocelyn. Shout out to all the people, period, whatever the situation is. That would make it... Uh, that You would think it would be harder for them to... Uh, stay in shape or you know be active and they're still doing it but Jocelyn she's talking to her fitness instructor be her trainer and she's inviting Nikki baby to town Nikki baby's coming to town because Jocelyn just needs a friend a friend to go and dote on her and also Nikki baby said that she wondered how it'd be having sex with someone who's pregnant I said we are not about to do this today Mona we are not about to do this today and so then she goes oh so then because her trainer is like yeah you know it's great pregnancy sex is great I mean yeah but what do you guys do because you can't really do it's like doggy how do you doggy style but then you can't use a strap well, I said you know we're doing too much right now we're doing a little bit too much Dawson said lick 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 I said he said that well that's no fun maybe not for you <laughs> Nikki baby she's there and while Nikki baby's rubbing the belly and you know, consoling her like this, but she has the raspy voice. She has the raspy bo voice, and Jocelyn's just saying how, you know, I think it's kind of weird because how am I supposed to be having sex, and yet I'm pregnant? And that's not the weird part. The weird part is you're having sex with Nikki, baby. So, with your friend, just because, and I'm looking at Jocelyn like, I'm not judging you. I'm not. I'm really not. I'm not, because the scene was a lot, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But I still felt like, unless that was Stevie J, to me in all, I, I'm sorry, but unless that was Stevie J with Jocelyn, I was going to have a problem with that scene. And that's why I'm not going to talk about it, because we didn't see, we didn't really see anything. Nikki Baby kissed Jocelyn a couple of times, and then Jocelyn was like, alright, you kind of do whatever you want. And I'm just like, all right, so let's fast forward because I don't have time for this. Anyway, now we see Jocelyn again from commercial break. We see her and she's in labor. But Jocelyn in real time was actually at, uh, she was at one of her appointments. So they got to see a sonogram. The baby's heartbeat is strong. Everything's doing well. And Kermie, which is her brother, I, I called him Kermie before. Kermie, who, who's her brother, was talking about how you know what you're gonna be a good mom. And look, you raised me. You helped out everyone. You have a good heart. And she's like, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. But now Jocelyn, she has her parents. Well, not her parents. Sorry, her mom there, her sister there, and also her cousin. Her cousin, who is six months pregnant. Now, I don't know why I... My mind, something's wrong with my mind, because as soon as I said, wait a minute, Kermy having a baby, six months pregnant. I mean, his baby mom is six months pregnant. This cousin, 
having a son, six months pregnant. Now I know, I, I, I know, I know it's messed up that I even thought that, I'm sure that's not the case, but you can't tell me that you didn't think the same thing like, like one plus one and two. Like, I, I just wish they kind of clarified, I, I get it, I get it, it's like of course the baby mom is not there, so unless she was, we're going to move on. We're going to move on because I don't know. I'm going to, you know, assume no, but you know, things like that do happen in families, so. Now, Jocelyn's talking to her mom, and essentially her mom's going to support her. Her mom's going to support her because she's like, you know what, she's reconnected with her mom, and she's good with her parents again, and she needs their support. She needs their support. She doesn't really know how it is to be a mom, take care of a baby, and she needs her help. Her mom's just like, you know what, everything that you've done, I love you, I cherish you, and I'm going to do right by you by doing right by my grandchild. So I got your back, I got your support. So I said, okay, so that's nice. See, this is why I like to see. Jocelyn, that's the missing component. Jocelyn's family life and background. I'm sure if that was more stable, she probably wouldn't have been half a fool as she was on this show before. Uh, but um, now it's time for Jocelyn to go and check out what the event planners have cooked up for her. Her brother is there as well. And Jocelyn wants to see some strippers. Jocelyn wants to see some strippers. And she sees the Mallory's instead. And Jocelyn's over it. She's looking at this like, Alright, this is not what I wanted. Where are the strippers? So, here it goes. What's her name? Was it Shauna? I, you know, one of the event planners. I know Mimi. But, uh, Mimi said, Okay, so, you're not really enthused? You're not excited? Oh, okay. Bring out the strippers! And here comes the strippers walking down the stairs. The music gets crumped because they had a violin and a guitar player. And then the music got real upbeat. The strippers were twerking. Jocelyn was like, yeah, buddy. Kirby's like, yeah, buddy. I was like, yeah, buddy. Oh, my God. So Mimi won. I just think it's interesting that one of the event planners name was Mimi. Like, really? Mimi. Mimi. So, Jocelyn has Mimi working for her. That's just how I saw in my head. I said, ah, oh, you're not slick. But now it's time for the dinner arrangements. And, you know, the more uptight professional event planner had that portion down. So she had the fried lobster, had the cake for dessert. And she was like, oh, this cake is delicious, so I get it. You're going to have to go and plan the fun. You're going to have to plan the food. Got it. And then we had the cake, which was chocolate cake. I said, Lord Jesus, looking at the uh, looking at the chef, the chef, baker, what have you, I said, now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Did anyone else not think, eat my sh <laughs> What? I, just, I don't know why. I just got the help. A flash of the help for a second. And... It's funny because Jocelyn, of course she enjoyed the food, but apparently it's Atlanta, it's the entertainment industry, so everyone does more than one thing. The chef used to be a rapper. So she goes, and those cute, she's talking about how she's the baddest. I said, all right, so that fits in exactly what everyone else is rapping about, who's, you know, a female rapper for the most part. So I, it was, I said, this isn't happening right now. Jocelyn goes and she has her event. She wanted everyone to show up. And when I say everyone, I mean everyone who's relatively popular in Atlanta showed up. Including most of the people from the different Love and Hip Hop franchises. Young Dro was performing. I forgot that he had that song. It's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot this was you. Oh, this is a pop. Okay. And Jocelyn's whole family was there. Even Mariah Lynn was, of course, Nikki Baby was there. But even Mariah Lynn was there. Once upon a time, not long ago, I was a... And I'm admitting it, I won't take it back. <laughs> so, I think lovely Mimi was there. Like I said, a lot of the cast that anyone who doesn't have an issue with Jocelyn was there. Let's just purpose it like that. It was a big venue. It was beautiful. Jocelyn was happy because Don said some nice words about her. She's just so over-enthused. We had the dance of ballerinas go around. And then she said, this is cute. But even everyone's kind of looking at this like, oh, okay, this is classy. The strippers came out, and everyone said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she had an event, I mean, a successful event, baby shower, but she wanted to be more like a party. 
So of course she was, it was going to show up. Mama D was there, you know, passing the throne, giving her presents. It's like, oh, the queen doesn't just show up to anyone. Jocelyn telling young Ja to go and eat. They, they create the cake because the chefs said, yes, we can create that cake. It, but even though even she also said, but why would you want to do that? Why would you want that? Why would you? Because it's Jocelyn. So she makes the cake. Jocelyn loves the cake, and Jocelyn wants Ja to eat the nipples or the cooey cat. I said, you know what? Oh, Jocelyn. Oh, Jocelyn. Now it's time for her to go and do the delivery. She's getting ready. She's getting prepped, but she's in so much pain. She was in the water. Things are moving too fast. So they put her in the bed. That was not working as well so she said you know what I'm gonna have to go and bounce because that's when we saw the scene of I cannot I cannot I cannot oh no no I cannot it's like your baby's to be born I said wait a minute why are they talking like Jocelyn why am I hearing Jocelyn all over the place all I hear is people talk, sound like Jocelyn what's going on long story very short the baby is born but not in the hospital because I believe the abuela said no 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 you're not going to the hospital you're not gonna make it you need to go, go into this bathroom, sit down, and go. I said, I said, what? Yes. And Jocelyn did it. She birthed the baby. Her sister was there. I believe her mother was there. Dawn was there. And that baby, I was a little concerned. Because I was like, oh, is she okay? Okay. No one's freaking out. So I guess she's fine. And she did naturally. So shout out to Jocelyn. Jocelyn's a mother. She's been the mother for a while. But she's a mother as far as this show is concerned. So shout out to her. Baby had a full head of hair. Bonnie Bella. Bonnie Bella kind of scared me because I said, oh my gosh, she has no color at all. She has no color. And she looked a little cold. I said, uh-uh. Uh-uh. You better check. You better check. And she was fine. Jocelyn was even in such a, you know, loving mood and spirit. She said Stevie J can come over. So Stevie J came over because they were doing video chat. He saw the baby was like, can I come over? Where are you? And he thanked her for, you know, allowing her to come in. She said, you know what, Stevie, I just had to be the bigger person. I think, be the bigger per. what are you, what? But no, we're, we're getting distracted from the point because Stevie at this point was in the bed, of course had the baby close to him, keeping her warm. And it looks like they're going to go and work it out. I said, Lord Jesus, they're going to get back together, even though we kind of know they're already back together. So that was it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Come back next week for the regular foolishness. And for basketball wives, and if you didn't see my, what's it called, uh, Real Housewives review, Jesus, if any of you guys also watched the review, you guys had were lit during in the comment section. I I will say that.